Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and I'm glad you're here for another deep dive into health and wellness. Today, we're talking about gray hair and the potential role that certain plant compounds can play in slowing down or preventing it. Joining me is my co-host, Elara Skye. She focuses on natural health insights and helps unpack complex research in clear, straightforward terms. Elara, thanks for being here. Thank you, Ethan. This topic is especially interesting because it addresses a very common concern, going gray. Many people feel uneasy when they first notice gray hairs, so understanding what drives that change and how to manage it is important. We'll be examining research suggesting that eating more vegetables or using specific compounds found in them may help maintain hair color. It's a promising area of study, so let's discuss what the science actually says. Let's begin by outlining why hair goes gray in the first place. According to current research, hair color depends on interactions between different stem cells in the hair follicle. Specifically, keratinocyte stem cells and melanocyte stem cells work together to produce and maintain your natural hair color. Over time, these stem cells slow down or lose function, leading to a reduction in pigment. Once that happens, gray hair starts to appear. It's a natural process but can be accelerated by oxidative stress and other factors. Precisely. When these two types of stem cells are no longer functioning properly together, hair loses its pigment. Scientists have identified oxidative stress as a key contributor here. As the body ages, oxidative damage accumulates, affecting many cells, including those in hair follicles. This decline in stem cell cooperation is the root cause of graying hair. The exciting angle is the potential for certain antioxidants to safeguard these stem cells and maintain their activity for a longer period. That leads us to luteolin. This compound is a flavonoid found in everyday foods like celery, parsley, thyme, peppermint, broccoli, green peppers, and various citrus fruits. Research indicates that luteolin may help prevent or delay the onset of gray hair by protecting stem cells in the hair follicles from oxidative damage. It's a straightforward yet significant discovery. The idea is that luteolin acts as a defense for these cells, promoting ongoing pigment production instead of letting it drop off as it might otherwise. Exactly. Scientific studies, particularly ones using mice, show that luteolin was notably more effective at preventing gray hair than other antioxidants tested, such as hesperetin and diosmotin. One study used mice that are predisposed to turn gray quickly giving researchers a chance to observe changes over weeks instead of years. The standout result was that luteolin kept the stem cells functioning effectively and slowed the graying process. This suggests that luteolin focuses on maintaining communication between keratinocyte and melanocyte stem cells, an essential factor for hair color retention. You mentioned that luteolin outperformed hesperetin and diosmetin. That indicates that not all antioxidants have the same impact on hair pigments. From the study results, researchers concluded that luteolin seems uniquely capable of preserving the collaboration between those two types of stem cells. Other antioxidants didn't deliver the same benefit. That points to luteolin's specialized role in maintaining hair color. Of course, people may want to know if it's better to apply luteolin topically or to consume it through foods or supplements. Studies suggested both dietary intake and topical application of luteolin help. However, the topical application produced a stronger effect on delaying graying in the mice. When luteolin was applied directly to the skin, the mice showed more resilience against losing hair color. Even so, consuming luteolin through food also made a difference, although it was subtler. These findings hint at potential future treatments that might harness luteolin topically for stronger, more localized results while still acknowledging the value of a dietary approach. Given that many people prefer natural ways to support hair health, foods rich in luteolin could be a simple and appealing starting point. Celery, parsley, thyme, peppermint, broccoli, green peppers, and citrus fruits are widely accessible. Incorporating them into meals can help bolster antioxidant intake, possibly contributing to healthier, more resilient hair follicles. 
There's also the supplement route for those seeking more concentrated luteolin, but a balanced diet is often the first recommendation. The most convenient method is to adjust your eating habits to include luteolin-rich options. For example, adding celery or parsley to salads or sipping peppermint tea regularly can increase your intake. Using time in cooking or snacking on green peppers also fits naturally into daily routines. These incremental dietary changes not only add flavor, but also deliver an antioxidant boost. They could help maintain your hair color by reducing stem cell stress. Let's move into some frequently asked questions that emerge from the research. First, what are the benefits of luteolin for hair? The answer is that luteolin supports the stem cells responsible for hair pigmentation, guarding them against oxidative stress. By helping stem cells stay active, it reduces the gradual appearance of gray hairs. This protective effect is crucial for people who want to delay those early signs of aging in their hair. The second question, how can you get more luteolin in your diet? You've already mentioned key foods, celery, parsley, thyme, peppermint, broccoli, green peppers, and citrus fruits. These items are widely available in grocery stores. Adding them into daily meals or snacks is a simple way to improve your luteolin intake. Some people also consider supplementation if they want a higher dosage, but focusing on whole foods can yield an array of additional nutrients. The third question addresses which method works better. Is topical application of luteolin more effective than consuming it in foods? According to the studies, topical application did appear to have a stronger effect on preventing graying in mice. It allowed a concentrated dose to reach hair follicles directly. Consuming luteolin-rich foods was still beneficial, but didn't match the potency observed with direct application to the skin. Researchers speculate future treatments might concentrate on topical delivery for more targeted outcomes. The fourth question is, can luteolin truly stop hair from turning gray? In mouse models, it slowed the process significantly by protecting stem cell activity. While these animal studies look promising, further research is needed to confirm the extent of luteolin's impact in humans. It's reasonable to consider it a supportive measure rather than a complete guarantee against graying, but the early data is encouraging enough that many people are taking a closer look at this compound. The final commonly asked question is, why is luteolin better than other antioxidants? The simple answer is that luteolin's mechanism of action seems uniquely effective in keeping the communication channels open between keratinocyte stem cells and melanocyte stem cells. Other antioxidants tested in the research didn't preserve the relationship between these cells to the same degree. Hence, luteolin stands out for its specific role in counteracting the decline that leads to gray hair. Looking at the broader picture, these findings add to a growing body of research on how antioxidants and healthy diets can influence aspects of aging, including hair pigmentation. Luteolin is just one compound among many, but it has shown promise in this particular area. As more studies are done, we may learn about new ways to harness luteolin, either topically or through diet, to help people maintain their natural hair color longer. Absolutely. It's also worth noting that when people adopt a diet high in vegetables, fruits, and herbs, they gain multiple benefits beyond potential hair color support. Many of these foods carry other nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and different antioxidants that can benefit heart health, immune function, and more. So even if an individual is primarily interested in preserving hair color, they gain extra advantages through a balanced diet. Yes, and for anyone curious about doses, Currently, there is no universally established recommendation for luteolin intake. Many find that simply adding luteolin-rich foods into everyday meals is a comfortable way to start. If someone is interested in supplements or specialized topical applications, they usually explore options after examining available research or consulting a health professional. Nonetheless, a balanced diet tends to be the safest initial step. In summary, gray hair results from a decline in stem cell function in the follicles. Lutolin appears to help by guarding these stem cells against oxidative damage, and it is found in many common foods. Studies in mice, particularly those that gray quickly, confirmed lutolin's potential. The topical approach was more effective than dietary intake alone, but both paths displayed positive results. This sets lutolin apart from other antioxidants that failed to provide the same degree of protection. Exactly. While it's an ongoing area of research, 
The available data on luteolin is intriguing. People who want to pursue a more natural strategy for maintaining hair color can try adding luteolin-rich foods to their diets. Future research might reveal topical formulas or additional dietary combinations that improve how we approach aging hair. At this point, luteolin holds promise for anyone interested in proactive measures. Thank you for breaking down these details, Alara. And thanks to everyone listening to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We hope this conversation about luteolin and its role in delaying gray hair has been informative. If you're exploring ways to support your hair health, consider focusing on a diet filled with these beneficial plants. For those looking for a more intensive approach, keep an eye out for updates on topical treatments. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to our next discussion.